All right, welcome everybody. This is uh, Authenticity Rant number two. And my name is John Leland. I'm the president and creative director of ComBridges.com and the author of the seminal primer on internet marketing, Internet Marketing, Eight Key Concepts Every Business Must Know. And I'm here with my partner in crime, internet and business strategist, uh, Peter Klein. I'm here in San Francisco Bay Area and Peter is in Tucson. Good morning, Peter. Good morning, John. How are you? Good. And I want to give Peter credit for our subject for today, which is live your own life. And, uh, you know, it very much aligns with the value of authenticity that is one of the ongoing themes at ComBridges and I think in Internet marketing in general, at least the branches of Internet marketing that are doing meaningful communications. Um, so, Peter, why don't you start us off and talk about how you came up with this and why you think it's important. Well, John, in the last year or so, this has been a really pet topic for me as I've contemplated all the things I do and how I find myself in certain situations. And there's actually an old joke that goes something to the effect of, you know you've been paying attention or taking care of everybody else when you're drowning and you're going down for the third time and everybody else's life flashes in front of your eyes. <laughs> as opposed <laughs> and, and I, to your I, own life. As opposed to your own life. So, so I really like that. And the interesting part about this is I've been examining it. I notice that with myself and with many other people, the choices they make, whether it be relational, personal, professional, spiritual, may not be what they would normally do if they were truly tapping into who they are, what they want, what they're truly here to contribute and create. Mm -hmm. So it started my study of whose life am I living in the choices I make every day. And let me also say, I know we've talked about this as well, this is not an easy thing just to flip a switch on and start doing whatever it is you want to do. And I'm also not advocating throwing it all over and burning it down and becoming a revolutionary radical maverick or something like that necessarily. But the truth is, because of family of origin, early imprint, peer pressure, societal expectations, many people, and I'm not saying everybody, but a lot of people, most people wind up doing things because they're expected to do, because parents tell them to do it, because school tells them to do it, because to make a living they have to be or do things they may not truly want to do. Yeah, and so, I, let, me, let me jump in there because I think that where that applies directly to internet marketing is, is around the shoulds of people, mm -hmm. you know, want to buy a formula. They want to buy a system. They want, you know, they, in fact, I heard Gary Vaynerchuk talk recently about how older, the older versions of marketing in general and internet marketing specifically were based on formulaic, you know, we can send it out and we can, you know, you know, multiply it, replicate it and build our marketing plan that way. And in the world of social media, it's much more human, which is why you're talking about all these human qualities and, and it applies to big companies as well as small companies and, and but you have to get back to what are you really about and and you can't just buy into I should be doing social media or I should be doing content marketing because that's what they say I should do nobody exactly. really is going to be compelled or engaged by that we're doing this because we care about it because we love real authentic communications and I think that there's an engagement factor that happens when you do that particularly in internet marketing, that uh, you know, escapes many people because they're still looking for what's the recipe, tell me how to do it right, one, two, three, and it does involve this kind of going deeper of what do you really care about, what are you passionate about, what will bring you joy, how will you get contagious in the spirit of what you're sharing. Absolutely, and what you, what you are describing there is the process of coming from within versus coming from without. Mm -hmm. What I've always loved to say about my sales career and anything I've been successful in promoting and watching other people do it is there is no sale when you are passionately, thoroughly, internally engaged with something because all you are then doing is inviting people to join you in the story and to create it with you and, and people get excited about that if they resonate with it. Yeah. So it's that that's why this is so important to be within and living your own life because from there the passion comes. Right. So it not it not only works, it brings you more joy. It's it's truly a win win. Uh, and that's why I'm kind of shifting my Com Bridges marketing from just being about websites and internet marketing and video and so forth to being about joy, ease, and authenticity because those qualities 
I think, matter and also make it more fun to do what I do and therefore I attract more business and, and it grows organically and it's something that I really do want to do in the long run as opposed to something I should be doing to earn a living. Yes, so indeed. we want to keep these things short. That's the idea of the authenticity rant. Do we leave anything out or do we basically cover there it? Is, there is one thing that I just want to leave people with as an exercise I'm doing on a daily basis, and it's just taking moments during the day, even if you do it once a day, to ask yourself in any situation, as I'm doing fill in the blank, whatever it is, whose life am I living? And framing your activities based on if I were living my own life, how would I be making different decisions or doing a different activity or am I where I need to be? Exactly. And, and it's a very uh, easy yeah, exercise. So, yeah, make sure that you're living your own life. You know, it's, it, it's interesting. It took me years to write this book um, yes. because I was always book, exploring and learning because I naturally want to do that and I naturally want to share information. Uh, and I, we look forward to your comments. We want to hear what you think about it. How are you living your own life? How are you challenged? What forms of support would work for you to really live your own life and express what you're about or what your company's mission is about as you go out and apply these things to marketing and communications? So yes, as always, join thank us, you again, join us in creating this story. Join us in creating this story going forward. And thank you, John. <laughs> thank you, and we'll see you on the next Authenticity Rant. Thanks for watching.